All right, in this video, we want to find the limits of these questions over here, and we're going to end up using factoring for all of these questions. But let me explain why. So for every limit question, the first step is, step is to just sub in the limit into the equation for x. So if I sub in a negative four in the top, I will get zero. And in the bottom, I will also get zero. And zero divided by zero is an indeterminate form, which means you can't use it to find the limit. If you ever get zero over zero, you have to try and simplify the equation more. Now, what I notice is the top is a simple tri trinomial. I can factor that with my man method. So what multiplies to 32 and adds to 12. So my two numbers are eight and four because eight times four is 32. Eight plus four is 12. So I can rewrite this as lim x approaches negative four. And then I'll write it in factored form, x plus eight, x plus four divided by x plus four. And now I can cancel the two x plus fours because they're identical. I'm just left with lim x approaches negative four and then it's just x plus eight over one, which is just x plus eight. Now that I've done the cancellation, I can sub in my limit again. That's just going to be negative four plus eight. And that makes my final answer positive four. So as lim x is approaching negative four, the function approaches positive four. Let's try the second question over here. Again, if I sub in one in the top, I will get zero. If I sub in one in the bottom, I will also get zero. So again, it's indeterminate, which means we have to factor. In this question, I cannot factor the top. So I'll write the top exactly the same. The bottom can be factored by doing a common factor. My common factor is x, and I'm left with x minus one. Now I can simplify this, I can cancel this, and I can cancel this. So after the cancellation, I'm only left with a one in the top and an x in the bottom. Once I've completed my cancellation, I can sub in my limit, which is one. That's just one over one the final answer of one for this second question over here. Let's go to the third question. And third question, I can factor the top by difference of squares. I can, the bottom is already factored. Let's sub in the limit. Four minus two squared is zero. Two minus two is also zero. So again, indeterminate. So I'll factor the top by difference of squares. That's just two plus X times two minus X over X minus two. Now two minus X and X minus two are not exactly the same. When I cancel them, I'll be left with a negative one. That's really important to remember because these two are not identical. They are the negatives of each other. So when you cancel them, you're left with negative one. So I can rewrite this as lim x approaches two negative, I'll move the negative to the front, then two plus x. And now I can sub in my limit. That's just negative two plus two. Two plus two is four and this, I have the negative. So the final answer is negative four. And let's go to the last question of this video. Over here, again, if I sub in four into the top, I will get zero because 16 minus 16. If I sub into the bottom, 16 minus 20 plus six. So the bottom is actually not zero for this one over here. So do the calculation in my calculator, 16 minus 20 plus six. It's zero over two, which means that my final answer, this is not indeterminate, zero over two is just zero. So even though it looks like you have to factor this question over here, you don't have to factor it. If you factored it, let's see what would happen. X approaches four, you have X plus four, X plus four and X minus four on the top difference of squares. 
on the bottom, that's a simple trinomial. What multiplies to six adds to negative five. It's negative two and negative three, but nothing cancels here. And because we didn't have zero over zero, if you only have cancellations if you have zero over zero, which means you don't even have to factor in this question. The final answer is just zero divided by two, which is zero. So that's the solution for this question over here. If you made it to the end of this video and you found this content helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.